Welcome to Chicago, also known as the Windy City. From its bustling city life in downtown Chicago to its many tourist attractions like Navy Pier, Millennium Park, and Maggie Daly Park, it's no wonder that Chicago is the third largest city in the United States. From an outside view, this is what Chicago looks like. But only real Chicagoans know the problems that are in Chicago. Take a look down. And there are homeless people in every corner and under every tunnel. All through the city of Chicago, there are abandoned buildings and empty lots. Whitney Young seniors were asked their opinion on abandoned buildings in Chicago in an anonymous online survey. One student from Old Irving Park noted, The buildings that are abandoned in my neighborhood are very rare but very run down. One student from Back of the Yards recalled, Okay, so there was this one building on the corner, and it was abandoned, and they just kept setting fire to it. Like, people went and did drugs there or whatever, but when they weren't doing that, they were setting fire to it. It probably burned down around three or four times. So I guess my opinion on this is that abandoned buildings are bad because they're like a fire hazard, because people do set fire to abandoned buildings a lot. What are your thoughts and opinions about those buildings? They're just, it's just a waste of space. Them being right there and not being used. I like, just people squatting there and just, like, it, just, it, should, it should be reconstructed. So. There are nearly 600 abandoned buildings in Chicago's 15th Ward, most of them located in the West Englewood neighborhood, about 60 to 75 in Back of the Yards, and about 25 in Brighton Park and Gage Park. Several of these buildings are close to schools, along the path that children take to go to school every day. What neighborhood do you live in? Um, Ashburn Park. Do you notice any abandoned buildings in your neighborhood or just around Chicago? Um, yeah, I notice a few in my neighborhood a lot around Chicago. I think they're like really dangerous because like, I don't know, like looters and like squatters live there and it's really dangerous for people especially like walking, like children walking to school. So. I feel like if there's not enough money to put into it to renovate it, it's just tear it down. Alderman Raymond Lopez affirms that demolishing these buildings will reduce crime in the area as a number of them have been used for drug and gang houses. Yeah, Ellen, there are actually eight or nine abandoned buildings on this block in Roseland. The city uh, believes that they are havens for drugs and prostitution, other crime. So they are trying to fast track demolition of the buildings as quickly as they can. These vacant buildings, we know that they are targets for gangs to gather and commit nefarious activities such as storing weapons or selling uh, illegal drugs. We can rid our community of drug infested buildings, prostitution, and every illegal activity that could possibly be in a community. Aside from abandoned buildings, there are also vacant lots in Chicago. What neighborhood do you live in? Uh, I lived in uh, Little Italy at Taylor and Racine. Um, did you notice any abandoned buildings in that neighborhood or just anywhere in, in Chicago? Uh, a lot of places in Chicago, but specifically in na my neighborhood, not a lot of abandoned buildings, but a lot of empty lots. So buildings that were abandoned got torn down and then they didn't build anything in replacement of it. Um, I think there are a lot of uh, wasted space. Uh, they were filled in with um, commercial grade gravel and then just grass fully grew on them and a little bit of extra effort would have made them nice fields to play in and stuff. It would have been an easy conversion to a park. You said that they could be used again. Do you have any ideas on how they can be used? I mean, there's some warehouses that are always that are shut down and they're all broken down and they have graffiti on them. It would have been really easy just to turn that place into a big storage area, even build lofts in there for people to live in. New houses, cause you know, it's like always good to have new people come around. I feel that because there's like a we're reading up on like that there's a shortage of affordable housing in Chicago and it's a shame that there's these abandoned buildings that could be used for good you know to house people that actually need it because and also yeah like it's also dangerous because you have these abandoned buildings where you know you have criminals that could easily hide in there and cause harm to those that are around so I feel like those should be turned into something productive or good to help people. Homelessness is a major issue in Chicago. According to its 2016 Homeless Count and Survey, Chicago officials estimate that 5,889 homeless people live in the city. But the Chicago Coalition for the Homeless places the numbers much higher, 
estimating that 125,848 Chicagoans were homeless during the last count in 2015. I define homelessness as uh, a condition in which people live in shelters that are designed for the homeless or in any unconventional living situation. In other words, living in places that are not intended as dwelling. Chicago needs more affordable housing, but not just in heavily concentrated homeless areas such as Uptown. It should be spread throughout the city. In the past five years, homeless advocates say that the number of shelters and emergency shelter beds has dramatically decreased in Chicago. Meanwhile, the number of people in dire need of assistance keeps going up. But the greatest decrease, according to the Chicago Coalition for the Homeless, has been in permanent supportive housing, which was down 10% from 8,460 in 2014 to 7,613 in 2015. We believe at Deborah's Place that everyone deserves the chance to be housed. Everyone has the right to housing, and so they need to have that chance and that opportunity. like a burden had been lifted because um, it was found the uh, registering that uh, I have somewhere to go. I'm not considered homeless anymore. And then especially when I came and seen the apartment and got the keys, I just started crying because I'm, you know, I'm, I was grateful. I'm still grateful today. A lot of our participants feel like they lost their lives. They lost everything. They've been in the streets for so long, there's no regaining. But we try to bring that back. And I think that Deborah's Place works really hard to go beyond what they're asked. Tear down the abandoned buildings and rebuild them as homeless shelters. These homeless shelters will not only solve the abandoned buildings and empty lots issue, but it will also serve to help homeless people get back on their feet in the way that Deborah's Place has.